Now our focus falls on an emerging talent on the European tour. A product of the American college system, 22-year-old Sam Horsfield is enjoying his first full year on the circuit, and many, including Ian Poulter, rate him highly. I was playing a junior tournament, actually on my home course, and a guy that he grew up with, his name's Mark Horton, um, he, he, he rode around with my dad and they got talking and um, he introduced me to his caddy, who's now my agent, Terry Mundy. Uh, I think I played with Ian recently after that and you know we just kept the friendship going on from there and it's it's more of like it's not like a golfing friendship you know like uh, when I'm at Lake Nona practicing I'll go over to his house and we'll we'll sit and talk and just have a good time. It's just good to have someone like that in your back pocket and you know go off you know when when you know that someone like his of his caliber is out there supporting you and watching you it you know it gives you confidence and you know he believes in me. I've been away from home for six weeks now, seven weeks, you know, but I don't have any, I don't have any problems with it. I think one of my good buddies, Sean Crocker, he played uh, at USC and he's played a lot of the same tournaments. And, you know, obviously we miss families and girlfriends and stuff like that, but I, th I think that a lot, a lot of people in the European style is to sort of turn pro early. Um, and I think that a lot more, I think they would benefit from going over to America and doing couple years in the college system and you know it's not like I said it's not just golf it's just becoming growing up and becoming relying on yourself more. Horsfield earned his European tour card at the first attempt at Q School. I got halfway through this the third round like the final stage of Q School and it was after the third round and I was I turned to my caddy and I was like man we were like, we're 75% of the way through a tournament and we literally just finished our halfway, you know, so it's such a long week and I think that you can look at it as two ways is if you play good, you can get on a roll like I did. You know, you can gain confidence and playing, playing only two golf courses where you only play one of them twice and the other four times, uh, you know, you can definitely get the momentum rolling, which I think helps a lot of golfers, you know. I think it's a long week, but you could, uh, you could definitely turn it and use it as an advantage. Going into the final round, I didn't really, you know, obviously my step, my goal was to get my card, but I was in the position to win. And whenever you're in the position to win, I think that your, your confidence is high. I won four times in college over two years. So I was able to like, you know, look back on memories of winning in those tournaments. It was a resounding victory for the Manchester-born player. He would earn European tour status on the back of a dominant final day display, winning the overall event. Now, it's all eyes on the next step. My targets for 2018 are um, definitely secure my card. The Rolex series events are huge, so I want to be able to play, get into those, and. You know, I just want to. I just want to have the opportunity to win some golf tournaments, whether that happens or not. You know, whether whether I actually win, we'll see. But you know, to play myself into position to win golf tournaments, and that's all that you could really ask for, is to get yourself into that position. Once you're in position to win, you have a lot of confidence, and you know, you feel like you can really play against anybody in the world. You know, I feel like anybody out here feels like that, and. I definitely feel like that. You know, when my game's on, I can compete at the highest level, and um, I'm just looking forward to it.